buddy Quaku here back with another video for today's video I am taking a look at the application called ambi white noise now ambi white noise is essentially a white noise generating app um, basically what that means is you can play let's say you're doing your work or you're studying or whatever it is you're doing if you want to play like the sounds of a coffee house or a coffee shop or like sounds of the beach or thunder or rain, something to calm you and let you help help you focus. This is the application that lets you do that. It was developed by the developer Genius Apps. So let's jump into it and see if it works really well. Here we are taking a look at Ambi. So as I said before, Ambi is essentially a white noise maker. Um, and by white noise, it's not necessarily like you see here, white noise, which is that staticky sound on those old CRT TVs. Ambi, it's essentially just those generic sounds such as beaches, birds, city streets, and so on. Coffee shops is more familiar with most people. The noise that you'll kind of hear in the background when you're in those environments, how you feel, the water splashing up against the shore, birds chirping, people walking through the city streets like New York. Um, coffee shops and things like that and even rain hitting your window those are the kind of sounds you're going to hear in this application and it also in this application it also allows you to mix and match sounds so kind of like your personal dj uh, it allows you to just say i want beach i want birds and i want a creek sounds all together um, the images here i can already tell obviously are not original images um, because this right here is from the movie winnie the pooh the live action one christopher robin uh, so I can already tell this is just I guess some other things but here it is so we're gonna start up here on the top here this is just your home it tells you your version and then you click this button here it takes you to your sound catalog your beta sound catalog and what the sound catalog is it allows you to get some extra sounds that are um, available for the application for you to view it's taking a little while to load but we'll jump right in once it finishes loading so here it is, it just finished loading. This is the sound catalog. Now, when you're on the Microsoft Store, you do see that this says price plus. Um, when you see a plus symbol next to the price on a Microsoft Store listing, it means that there are uh, in-app in, in transactions um, and in-app purchases such as. So you can see here that these are the in-app purchases for this thing. You have your $2 worth of things here. Release uh, an Ambi original, so let's click it. It's composed by someone. And then we have coding, which is um, just keyboard sounds recorded while coding. So let's click on that. So those are the two sounds that you be, you could pay for if you like those two sounds. It's only two dollars. It's not much. I haven't paid for it, but I downloaded everything else. Um, and the nice thing I do like with this application is a lot of other applications that have in-app purchases when you want to if it has to do with the sound they don't let you even listen to the sound on most things but this one still lets you listen to a sample of the sounds which is really nice which kind of pushes forward of me wanting to purchase these things now going through more you have elevator music library um, and it tells you where each thing came from office walking on snow there's a whole lot it all clicks lego white noise um, and i have those things downloaded as you can see and then you can go to more sounds here type in a suggestion and then maybe it'll appear in the next update so when we go back you have this button here when you click on it it tells you the sleep timer so when you hit play basically it'll play all of these things for this amount of time 30 minutes 60 minutes two hours four hours eight hours pause play you know and so on close that out this is the mini player so when you click that it makes it mini so it doesn't take up your whole screen and you can also resize it to almost nothing uh, so I'm going to bring it back to full screen and then this is your drop down that tells you essentially this is your menu icon um, and when you see this this has screensaver mode so if you're playing a sound and you want screensavers you can do that I'll show that when I'm playing a sound uh, share link for Ambi so that you can share it to your friends uh, the link to the application rate us chat on discord view github add remove uh, add and improve uh, translations and contact the creator and settings when I click on settings, you have telemetry. Basically, if you have any issues with the application, it'll send telemetry data to the developer. That way he can see, he or she can see what exactly went wrong or what went right 
and that way it's easier to tweak that stuff that's why you always see those things in a lot of applications to send whatever data so if you want to not send any data and you want to pull privacy mode you can turn it off i'll just leave it on uh notification for new sounds basically it'll show you notification in your notification your action center um if you there's any new sounds that come up screensaver on and off you can turn that on or off and then you have dark page as screensaver themes basically it basically means that whatever theme windows is it will follow the application will follow that theme otherwise you can just have it the light theme and that's about it but i'm going to leave that thing rather on auto just because i like the dark theme of how i have it and then you have your account icon which is just your account icon uh so going into it so we're let's try let's, let's listen to a beat we're gonna listen to like four sounds and i'm gonna put maybe let's listen to the three sounds and i'm gonna put some sounds together so beach nice and calm it's nice and you know peaceful let's add some thunder to it and then let's add some wind to it Let's add some crashing waves into this as the fourth sound. It says limit reach and move a set, remove a sound to make space. So you can only add three sounds. So I'm gonna actually take away wind and add crashing waves. So I have beach, thunder, and crashing waves. And then I'm going to go over here, like I said, to screensaver mode. It's going to put it full screen. This is screensaver mode. Pretty nice, pretty peaceful. You just hit escape to get out of screensaver mode. Now I'm going to pause all of it. I'm going to exit. I'm going to go to a coffee shop. I don't really like coffee shop anymore but while I was doing this I was using when I was testing the application I was using beach and I believe I was using rain and I was using rainforest and I was working on my Lego contraption that I've been working on all weekend and it really pieced me just made me focus a lot when I did that so this is recommended for me to do that let me let me hit exit now so you can hear me better but it it really put me at ease doing this because you know for a while when i'm working on focus products and projects uh, i typically do it at places i go to coffee shops when i was in college i would go on campus where there's people walking around little you know slight noise of people talking from far far away i would do that stuff and you know there's not we don't really have that anymore because of this covid stuff so it's pretty nice that we have this here uh yeah it's 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 a pretty solid app now i'm gonna go full screen and see how it looks full screen it does look pretty nice you go to more sounds it brings in these it's pretty nice go back it it looks solidly set up um so we have your volume here and you have your play button here and your global sound volume I guess all I can say for this application for a judgment on it is um, I do notice, let's see if I notice anything that looks kind of off. So far, the layout is really solid. Uh, if I go shrink it and maybe shrink it more to small phone size, nope, it still looks really clean. It resizes quickly. It's fast. It's, it's really <laughs> fluid. Um, I don't really have much to say with it. It's, it's pretty solid. I don't see anything that potentially could be wrong. I guess the only thing that I can say is when you are using the settings and you're going to you know, switch your mode, whether you want light or dark theme, it says requires restart in order to bring it up. Other than that, maybe if there was a way that you wouldn't require restart, maybe make it so you could just, because I see some apps that let you just change the theme without restarting, maybe just fix that and make that thing just not have to restart and that's about it. There's not really much I have to say with this application. It just works pretty smoothly and it's a simple app. Um, 
I guess the one thing I can say is maybe if we had an option, rather than waiting for the developer to put in new sounds based on suggestions, maybe if we could import our own sounds into it, that would be pretty dope to have. So other than that, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was Ambi, uh, White Noise, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty decent application, and it's free. It's on the Microsoft Store. You can take a look at it. I have all the links in the description as usual, and uh, let's push us to 800 this week. As always, take care, everybody, and have a good one.